So this is called an equation because it has an equal sign. It has a variable x, and we want to know what x is equal to. What's this magical number? Now, like I said, some of you can probably look at this and solve it in your head and go, oh, Miss Amelli, x equals this number. Fantastic. But I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for can you show the work? The reason I'm asking you to show the work is because when you get into higher math, it's very important that you know how to show work. It's very, very important. All right, so let's focus on this. Now, what we're going to do is what I like to do is to draw the bars surrounding the equal sign. So you draw the bars. So you separate what's on one side and on the other side. OK, so we have the left side and we have the right side. So we draw these wonderful, beautiful little bars. Now, your goal, your goal is to get X by itself. OK, your goal is to get X by itself. So all I want is X by itself. So I have to get rid of everything that's around it. What's a, what's on the same side as X? There's a plus sign and there's a 12 and I got to get rid of it. So I want this to equal zero. So how, what do I do to 12 for it to equal zero? What do I have to do to the 12 to make it equal to zero? Minus 12. Yeah. So if I write minus 12, what's 12 minus 12? Zero. And that's what I want. I want it to disappear. Now, because you wrote minus 12 on this side, well, this side gets kind of jealous and you have to do the same thing. So if you did a subtract 12 over here, you have to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to write down the minus 12 on this side. Now, it's super important that you copy down these notes just like I'm doing them. Please <clears throat> don't take any shortcuts. So here I'm left with zero. But in reality, I still have this X. So I bring down the X because I haven't used it. So I have X. This, it's zero, but I don't write it down because it's zero. No one cares. Equals. Now, what is 23 minus 12? 11. So X is equal to 11. Now, if I wanted to check, I could check and go, okay, X is equal to 11. So I'm going to write 11. What's 11 plus 12? Does it equal 23? 11 plus 12. Yes. Yes, it does. It checks out. I did the math correctly. Okay. So this is called solving one step equation. You're solving for X. All right. Let's try this one. <clears throat> okay. X plus 15 is equal to 38. Some of you can probably do in your head. Fantastic but I need you to show it on paper. Now, remember, you're taking a picture of these notes later, so make sure you copy everything down. You see that question mark there? Yeah, copy it down. Yep, check that question mark right there. All right, so I want X by itself. That's your goal, to get X all by itself. So if it says plus 15, what are you going to do? Minus 15. minus 15. So basically what you do is you do the opposite operation, right? So we're going to do minus 15. If it says to add 15, the original problem, you're going to subtract 15. Draw this. On this side, you're just left with X all by itself. So pretty. Now on this side, you got to do the math. What's 38 minus 15? 23. 23. So X equals 23. Now, if you're wondering if that's correct, you go back and you plug it in. 23 plus 15. Does that equal to, to 23? Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, 38. This is 38. So does 23 plus 15 equal 38? Yes. We're yes. happy teachers and students. All right. Are we okay with this level one? situation right here. So if it's adding, you subtract. Okay. <clears throat> now, what if I tell you the problem is X minus 12 is equal to 14. So again, your goal is to get X all by itself, right? So if X so 
I want X by itself. So we're going to draw the bars. We have to move everything to the other side to get X all by its pretty little self. So what would I do? Right now it says minus 12. So what am I going to write down at the bottom? Plus 12. So I'm going to do a plus 12 because that's going to give me a zero. If I do the opposite operation, if it's subtract and I add, I will get the I will get a zero and I'm left with X all by itself. So if it starts off with subtraction, you're going to be adding. Then on this side, I'm going to put plus 12. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side because it gets jealous. It gets jealous. What's 14 plus 12? 26. 26. And you're done. If you wanted to check, you plug it in here. 26 minus 12. Does that equal to 14? Yes, we're in, we're in the right path. All right. Let's do one more with subtraction. X minus 17 equals 50. So what would you do? You separate, um, you, um, separate the X. Yeah. So you, the yeah. So you want X by itself. So you draw your bars. So you look at, okay, the, the X is on this side. What do I have to move? I have to move the 17. How do I move it? By, so, so by flipping adding. adding 17, adding 17 to both sides. On this side, it gets eliminated, it equals zero. So we don't even worry about it. That's our goal is to get X by itself because this just goes away. It, it equals zero. We don't write you know, zero, because it's just zero. This side, you have to do the math. And remember, you do it to both sides. What do kids always forget to do? They always forget to do it to the other side. It's sad. What's 50 plus 17? 67. 67. So X equals 67. Are we okay so far? It's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Now, kids sometimes get a little confused. We'll do the same problem but I'm going to write it just a little different. What's different about this one? It's the opposite side. It's backwards, right? Guess what? Your goal is still the same. Your goal is still to get X by itself, right? It's still X by itself. So I still got to move this minus 17. So you still do the same thing. I'm going to draw my bars. I'm still going to do plus 17 on this side, plus 17. I don't move the 50. The 50 is okay. You move only the things that are on the same side as the X. So X equals what's 50 plus 17? 67. Same answer, right? So even if it's like backwards, like it's flipped around, you're still focusing on moving everything that's around the X. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Let me, let me give you something that looks really, 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 really hard. Does this look really, really, really hard? Yeah, a little, right? You got fractions and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But you do. You do know what to do. Draw your bars. I want X by itself, right? So what do I have to move? The two fifths. The two fifths. So right here it says plus two fifths. So what are you going to write down underneath? Minus two fifths. Minus two fifths. Minus two fifths. Hey, you already have common denominators, so there's no need to worry. All I do is go, what's 7 minus 2? So it's 5 over 5. And that's it. Does anybody know what 5 over 5 equals to when you simplify it? 1. one. one. So you can have a 1 whole. Okay? So even if you have fractions, it's still okay. It's still okay. Any questions? 